At least 30 people, including children, have been killed and many wounded after an Israeli air attack hit a school housing injured and displaced Palestinians in Deir el Bala, in central Gaza. The Israeli military it had launched the strike in order to destroy a Hamas command and control center inside the compound. Most of the victims from the school arriving to Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital in the aftermath of the attack were women and children, according to Khalil al-Dakran, a spokesperson for the hospital. More than 4,000 displaced people were housed in the school, the Palestinian civil defense said. The strike came soon after Israelis' military issued fresh evacuation orders further south, in the city of Khan Yunus, where Israel launched a fresh offensive earlier in the week which has killed dozens of Palestinians. Hamas has condemned Israel's attack on a school housing displaced civilians in Deir el Bala. The occupation continues to commit massacres against civilians without any deterrence and with criminal cover provided by the American administration, it said in a statement. We call on the international community and the United Nations to break the policy of silence and take steps to force the occupation to stop its crimes. هذا قصف قريب من مستشفى شهداء الأقصى باتجاه الغرب من موقع خيم وموقع كلية تقنية موجود المكان مليء بالنازحين حتى الآن يعني من دقائق حصل القصف نتوقع أن يكون في سيارات الإسعاف بدأت تتحرك بشوية نستنى إيش آخر التفاصيل بس قريب جدا Former President of U.S. Barack Obama endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris to be the Democratic presidential nominee, ending days of speculation over whether he would support her. Obama and ex-First Lady Michelle Obama said in a joint statement that they believe Harris has the vision, the character, and the strength that this critical moment demands. Our Obama was reportedly among more than 100 prominent Democrats Harris spoke to after President Joe Biden announced last Sunday he was dropping out of the race. In a statement at the time, Obama praised Biden's exit, but stopped short of endorsing Harris. But after Harris earned the backing of Bill and Hillary Clinton, Nancy Pelosi, a host of state governors and the most senior Democrats in Congress, as well as Biden himself, Obama has added his voice in what amounts to a major boost for the vice president. The 44th president was joined by wife Michelle, the former first lady, in a phone call with Harris that was filmed and released by her campaign. I can't have this phone call without saying to my girl Kamala, I am proud of you, Michelle Obama says. This is going to be historic. Barack Obama weighs in. We called to say Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and do everything we can to get you through this election and into the Oval Office. We agree with President Biden, said the couple's statement, choosing Kamala was one of the best decisions he's made. She has the resume to prove it. Smiling, standing near a vehicle, Harris replies, oh my goodness. Michelle, Barack, this means so much to me, I am looking forward to doing this with the two of you. Doug and I both. And getting out there, being on the road. Harris is almost certain to secure the Democratic nomination and would take on Republican candidate and former President Donald Trump in the race for the White House. Kamala! Hello. Hi! Hey there! Oh, hi, you're both together. Oh, it's good to hear you both. I, I, I can't have this phone call without saying to my girl Kamala, I am proud of you. This is going to be historic. We called to say Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and, and into the Oval Office. Oh my goodness. Michelle, Brock, this means so much to me. I am looking forward to doing this with the two of you, Doug and I both, and um, getting out there, being on the road. But most of all, I just want to tell you the, the words you have spoken and the friendship that you have given over all these years mean more than I can express. So thank you both. It means so much. And, um, and we're going to have some fun with this too, aren't we?